Alright guys, today I'm going to be trying to put this Crown Royal bag as my shift boot. Uh, this is my first attempt at ever doing anything like this, so I'm going to see if I can figure it out. I already pulled out my shift boot from my car, and this is pretty simple. It's just some staples that hold it in around. I know that I'm not going to be able to get staples back through there, so I'm going to have to find another way to hold this down or secure it into this little bracket here. But I think it's going to be pretty easy, and I'm going to take you guys along for the ride to see if we can get this accomplished. So. Let me grab a couple more tools and we'll start taking this apart so we can get this on there. I just have some needle nose pliers and I'm going to try to start getting these staples out. This should be relatively easy. I'm probably just going to have to pry these back pieces up. This might take a little bit of time because there's so many staples on the back. But uh, let me get these out. This is proving to be way harder than it looks. I got one of these staples kind of unfolded right here. But I can't get it to come out on the other side. I can't get like anything underneath this or grab onto it or anything like that. So I'm not too sure how I'm gonna get these out uh, quite yet. There, yeah, that's like unfolded all the way. Let me see if I can push it out. Okay, the answer is no. That just went right through my tool. So let me try something like this maybe. Oh, there we go. That that seemed to work. Okay. I, I can probably pull this out now if I can get the needle nose under it. Oh, no way, dude. I just broke the staple. What? Okay. There's one side. This side's going to be trickier. It's just kind of bent backwards. Let's see if I can get that. So there is one staple out. Now I have, like, a ton of them to go. I'm going to turn the camera off, get this finished, so you guys don't have to sit here and watch this really boring process of getting these stables out. But basically what I did was unfold these little tabs right here, push it up, and then grab onto it from the top and just pull it out like that. So that's the easiest way I found to do it. Um, let me get this done real quick and I'll get on to the next step. Okay, so I just got all these staples out and this piece should just come out just like that. There's little tabs around it kind of. So it looks like I'm about to put little holes into the bag that these can go into. But there's the chrome piece, uh, trim piece off, so we can set that off to the side. Alright, from here, this thing should just pull off of these little tabs and we should be good. Yeah, this is super easy. So these just pull off all the way around. I'll be gentle, I don't want to break anything. So there we go, that's the piece that we're going to have to put the crown royal bag on. Here's the old shift boot, I'm going to save this in case I need it in the future. And yeah, let's get onto the Crown Royal bag part. So you're gonna need scissors, which I have right here, and then also your Crown Royal bag. I'm gonna start by using a tinier one. There's the tiny one, and this is a big size one. The difference between these two is this is from the 750 milliliter bottle. This is from the 1.75 liter bottle, so. Just gonna put the big one off to the side, and we're gonna start with this little one. I already measured it out kind of by eye, and I need to save about half to three quarters of an inch down below the crown royal so if I want that to show so I'm gonna cut below that but first I'm gonna make sure this whole thing is like kind of flattened out and ready to be cut so it's a level cut so there we go it's gonna get like that I'm gonna take my scissors and just cut a line straight across I'm gonna leave myself a little bit extra material to look, work with There we go. So there is our cut. That's pretty straight. Now, another thing you have to worry about is if this is gonna fit over, so I'm gonna make sure this fits first of all. Or else I'm gonna have to use the big bag. And I don't know if this is, this doesn't look like it's gonna fit. I just slide it over this whole thing. Yeah, I don't know if this is, okay. It looks like it looks like this is gonna fit. Maybe, hang on, I got this inside there now. Let me uh, stretch it out, level. This is very difficult. Yeah, I don't think this is gonna work. This is too tiny at the bottom, so. Looks like we're using the bigger bag, so let me cut this one up real quick. This is no big deal. I'm probably just gonna have a really big uh, shift boot. Grab my scissors over here. And we're gonna cut it around the same spot, about a quarter inch from there, or three quarters of an inch. 
All right, there we go. So I know for sure some cars you can get away with the smaller bag. This bigger bag is obviously has a little bit more that you can use. So this thing is going to go right inside here pretty easy. Probably going to need a little bit of stretch, but yeah, there we go. So that's how it's going to sit on there. And I might have cut this just a little bit too short, but I think it's going to be okay. So now I need to cut holes for these little nubs and everything, and we'll continue on getting this attached. So let me figure out how I'm going to cut these holes. Okay, so first of all, I think I'm going to try this razor blade here, see if I can get just a tiny hole in there for that to slide through. I'm going to make sure everything's lined up first, though. All right, there we go. So I got the first one attached on there. You can see it poking through. All right, so let me finish getting these other several tabs put through, and then we'll uh, continue on with this install. Okay, so I have all of these in one of these tabs through a hole. Now I'm going to grab this. Wait, what did I just? I'm lost, man. This piece, which slides over, right? Yeah. So grabbing the chrome piece and putting it back over, and we're going to try to get this pushed on. All right, so there is our relatively finished product. I might just need to fasten this together somehow. Um, I don't know, this might not be that big a deal. This is really big though, to be honest. But I'm gonna trim off this excess material at the bottom here. So there we go, that's our pretty much our finished product. The C is a little bit cut off, but I'm okay with that. It's not that big a deal. Um, I'm gonna go into, I'm gonna take you guys into the car and show you how this goes on. And I don't think we really need to fasten it. If I needed to fasten it, I could just sew a little uh, thing of, of thread through these holes a couple times where the staples were and it should be okay. But I think this is gonna be all right for what we're doing with it. So let me take you guys into the car and we'll see how this fits. Okay, so we're in my car. Here's my uh, shifter tunnel right here. And I'm basically just gonna take this Crown Royal bag and install it the way it would normally be installed. So there we go, and then there's my shifter tunnel and everything. Now I can take my shifter and install that. So there we go, now this basically just tightens down. Up against there, push this down in. I'm also gonna need a zip tie. Let me go grab one of those real quick. So I grabbed a black zip tie because it's a little more inconspicuous. And this is just to basically secure it on there. This is such a big bag that it's hard to get it on there tight. And I might need another zip tie because these are very small. All right, I think that's as tight as it's gonna get. So I'm gonna clip the ends off of these real quick. All right guys, that looks pretty dope like that. I like it and it's held on there pretty well. I could have moved that zip tie up a little bit more and made it look a little bit better, but I think it's all right the way it is. And as you can see, I have plenty of room to shift since it's such a big bag. There's like a ton of excess, so I kind of just pushed it down. And it looks really good in my opinion. So let me bring you guys in for an up close view. So there it is up close. Down here it says Crown Royal. Looks really nice and yeah, I'm probably gonna be changing out this red shift knob soon with the gold one, so I think it's gonna look a lot better without that shift knob on there, but that's how it looks. Pretty simple to install, probably took me like 30 minutes to do the whole thing. And yeah, I think it looks really nice, looks really cool. And just a little tip, if you guys have a bigger like shift area that's like more diameter, get the bigger bag instead of the smaller one. That's what, what I mean by that is the way, like all the way around it, if that's pretty big, kind of like this is, it's pretty large then make sure you get the big bag for that one because the small bag is not gonna fit. So that was pretty easy, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, make sure to drop a like down below. Also, subscribe for more videos like this one. I'll see you guys in the next video and peace.